According to recent documents that were leaked and published to The Guardian in the United Kingdom, corporations all across the planet have been employing spies to go infiltrate activist organizations to find out exactly what those organizations are up to. According to the documents, companies like Porsche, uh, Caterpillar here in the United States, um, the Royal Bank of Scotland, all of them among many others have engaged in this kind of work, hiring spies to infiltrate activist groups. Here are the types of groups they're targeting. They're going after anti-war groups. They're trying to infiltrate those. They're trying to infiltrate environmental groups to find out what they're doing and hopefully commit some kind of espionage to derail the entire thing. We saw this happen with SeaWorld where they hired people, uh, corporate spies, if you will, to go and uh, uh, join up with these anti-SeaWorld groups and attempt to take apart the organization from the inside. And now, according to these documents, we understand that corporations all around the globe are doing the exact same thing, taking a page out of the SeaWorld playbook and trying to dismantle these activist organizations who fight against these companies from the inside. But here's another thing that this story means. And this is something I think has been missed in some of the coverage about this, even though there's been very little coverage about it. The fact that these corporations are having to hire spies to infiltrate these activist groups shows how important and effective these groups can be. When you have environmental groups out there fighting every day against oil extraction and fracking and things like that, to the point that these companies have to hire people to go in and infiltrate them and find out what they're up to, that means that the activists are winning. When you have anti-Wall Street, anti-banker groups coming together, trying to expose the corruption taking place in the global banking industry, when the banks feel the need to send spies in there, it's because those activist groups are being effective. They're exposing corruption at the highest levels, letting the public, not just here in the United States, but everywhere, in every country, understand just how corrupt these businesses are. And this report by, uh, by The Guardian is an extension of that. It shows how terrified corporations are. It shows how callous they can be. And more importantly, it shows how corrupt they truly are. If they feel the need to go out there and infiltrate these activist groups, it's because they don't want their corporate conduct exposed. They've been doing things that they don't want the public to know about because they're afraid of the public backlash that's going to take place or the boycotts or the mass exodus of shareholders and, and investors that would take place if this kind of conduct was exposed. Well, guess what? One of your dirtiest deeds hiring these corporate spies was just exposed. And that just shows one, that corporations will go to any length possible to cover up their corruption, but more importantly, that these activist groups are starting to make these corporations sweat. And that is good news. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on Ring of Fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.